Hey guys, today I'm going to teach you how to create a pagination component using React. I already got some data from the JSON placeholder and added them to the state. I will pass this data to the component. Let's create a component. Alright guys, now you can see I have created a list component. It has two files. One is for the TSX, one is for the style. I have imported the CSS file into the TypeScript one. Now we can do the styling in here. I'm gonna get two props, one for the data list, one for the how much content that we put in one page. So list, it is any array and content per page, it is a number. I'm gonna get those props on top of the component. I'm gonna map all the data in the list inside an ordered list component. I'm gonna get i.title and key is i.id. Now I have to go to the app.tss file and import the pagination component and pass this data to it. I have passed the content per page value as 10. So let's add this functionality. Now let's check whether our app is working. Yeah, now it has 100 different content. Let's go to the app list component. Now I'm gonna add pagination part. It has two buttons. One is for navigating to left, one is for navigating to right. In the middle, it has the page num. I'm gonna add app button. It has left arrow, theme dark. I'm gonna add right arrow one. And in the middle, I'm gonna add the span and add page number. For now, let's add one. All right, let's see. It's in the vertical view, right? Let's make it horizontal. Now I'm gonna go to the div and add the class name. All right, now I'm gonna add content. It has margin top uh, 40 pixel and bottom 40 pixel. Let's make it padding. Now it's full, right? After that, I'm gonna add display flex, flex direction column, justify content center. Now I'm gonna add pagination. It has display flex, justify content center, align item center, and gap. Uh, let's add 10 px. All right, it works, right? On the top, let's add gap 20 px good right all right the ui part is done let's add the logic in the app list first i want to get how much pages we have to render so const page equal math dot seal this one is so rounding the floating value into the upper integer like if you add 4.2 the final number is 5 it's rounding to the upper value not the lower value okay so here i'm gonna add list dot length divided by content per page so now the length is 100 if we divide by 10 it will give 10 as the pages so now we have to calculate what are the data we have to pass in each and every time to do that first i want the index we have to select the page right to get that one we have to get use state in here i'm gonna get selected index default value is zero i'm gonna import it when i on click this one i'm gonna set selected index to previous value minus one so just like this one if i click the right arrow icon it should go to the next page here i'm gonna add selected index plus one in here we have to calculate selected data to do that const selected data equal i'm gonna create a use memo so here i'm gonna get the list and that list i'm gonna slice selected index multiplied by content dot page this is the first value so what we do next is select that index multiply by content per page content per page I'm gonna add uh, content per page and the list and the selected index in here i get the selected page it is start with zero and zero multiply by any number equal to zero that means this is zero in the first turn then i'm gonna get zero plus ten that means ten i'm gonna get first ten in the first page let's change this index to one that means this is one one times ten is ten 10 here 10 times 10 so this gives 10 plus 10 equal 20 in the second row i get 10 to 20 okay so in this way when i change the index it slice the array and get only the content that we need instead of passing the list here i'm gonna get selected data here all right now you can see only 10 let's click buttons all right it gives the result right let's disable this button if the selected index equal to zero let's disable this one if selected index equal to ages minus one now you can see it doesn't work also when i go to the first one i cannot go back let's add the disable list to the button opacity 0 0.5 
important all right now you can see it getting disabled all right guys that's the end of this video please like and subscribe and hit the bell icon have a nice day